So when installing paint protection film, we're doing a front end package on this vehicle. What I like to do is I always like to start on the fenders first. Since we're doing partial hood, partial fenders, I can put the fender pieces on first. That way later on, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to line up the hood. So right now, I'm gonna spray the surface down with a slip solution. Get it good and wet. And now I'm gonna get the fender piece. So now what I like to do when you get the film laid onto the vehicle, try and get it somewhat in the position where it's supposed to go. Now I'm about to start squeegeeing the film into place. One place I like to start at is right at the very front of the fender. Lift the film up, spray your tack solution underneath the film onto the paint, and then squeegee that point down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all along the headlight here, go all the way around, down till here, I'm gonna work down till there, and then I'm gonna come across over to the top before I start squeegeeing all the water in the slip solution out from underneath. So now that I got that perfectly aligned, I had to do a little bit of stretching just to stretch that into place. Make sure I got perfect alignment, squeegee that. Great, so now the front of the headlight, that's done. So now we can come down over here to the bottom, make sure that this is in place. Perfect. Now we'll go up over here. We're gonna make sure that this film lines up along the top edge of the fender. Put a tack solution underneath there and then squeegee that into place. So before I start putting any tack solution in there, I'm just gonna lift the film up, make sure it's not sticking anywhere and spray more slip solution. This slip solution is gonna help the film glide a lot easier on the, on the paint, and it's gonna help get a cleaner installation. So I squeegee this top corner down and start squeegeeing everything into place. So when we're done the installation, I'm gonna take a heat gun, I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna heat up all these edges to make sure that they're all the way down or if there's no moisture left behind. But for now, I'm gonna get the tack solution in here Squeegee out all this to make this film disappear. So in a valley like this where you have a lot of air, what I like to do is take your tack solution Spray a good healthy amount into there. Then I like to take, take your hand and just kind of push the air out. And that's gonna help get the film to lay into place. So with these edges over here and this valley, this is a big place that a lot of moisture likes to stay stuck behind. So it's very, very important to try and get as much out of there as possible, just with your hands, before squeegeeing it out. So I like to run my squeegee at a bit of an angle like this, make sure that, I'm make, that there's no moisture being left behind. So what just happened is I noticed that there was a speck of dust that was stuck underneath the film right over here. So I lifted the film up, peeled it back, got that speck of dust out, and now I just sprayed some slip solution in there. And I'm gonna make sure that I get the film into place just like I had previously before I start putting any tack solution in there and squeegeeing it out. So now all that's left is just this little piece right here. So I like to pull the film back. 
Spray some more tack solution in there. Flush out all the slip solution. And then just squeegee it all into place. Once again, make sure that there's no moisture left on that edge. So I run the squeegee at an angle all the way along. Now that I know that this edge is down, I can start over here and I can squeegee everything into place once and for all. Okay, so now we're on to the hood installation part. So we got the fenders done. This is gonna be really, really good because it's gonna help us line up the hood properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my slip solution, I'm gonna spray a generous amount on the hood where the film's gonna go. So now that I have the paint protection film, what I wanna do is I wanna peel back this top corner, peel back the bottom corner here. I'm gonna stick them to the hood and then I'm gonna back roll the backing paper off, leaving the film on the hood. So when you lay the film down, you don't have to line it up perfectly at the very beginning because you just wanna get the film onto the hood and get the backing paper out of the way. Okay, now that I got the film laid down, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna get the back side of the film, the adhesive side, wet with a slip solution. This is gonna help me be able to glide the film into place. Okay, so now that I have the film on the hood, I've got slip solution underneath the film. I'm gonna start by getting our alignment points tacked down. So the first place that I'm gonna tack down is I'm gonna tack down right over here, right by the headlight. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of work up right along the hood. There we go. And then I'm gonna come over here to the top, right by the fender. So now that I have the film properly lined up along this edge over here, and I got tack solution underneath there, I'm just gonna take the squeegee and run right along that edge. Squeegee it all out. Now the next area that I'm gonna work at is this valley right over here and these two, these two corners over here. So I'm gonna get these down before I start squeegeeing anything into place. So now that I got these in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some tack solution in right over here. I'm gonna get all the air out and get this section into place before moving over to the other side and doing the exact same method. So the rest of the moisture, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it up and push it out. And just like that, this first section, the most important section, is done. Okay, so now that we're on the other side, I'm gonna lift the film up, 
spray some more slip solution underneath. Now, as you can see over here, the paint protection film does not come anywhere close to the edge. You're probably about an inch and a half, close to two inches that needs to be stretched. Now, that's the good part about Expel paint protection film is it's designed to be stretched to fit into place on your vehicle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right over here at this corner. This is my first reference point on the passenger side. I'm gonna get some tack solution, spray it in there, stretch it into place, lock that down. And then I'm just gonna come around the perimeter of the hood, ending up right over here at the top corner by the fender. Just like on the other side, I'm gonna spray a bunch of tack solution into here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push all this air out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push all this moisture that's left, I'm gonna push it right out here at the top. It's really beneficial to make sure that you have a lot of moisture on the outside of the film too. That way when you're pushing your squeegee, that your squeegee can properly glide. I got all my slip solution underneath the film here. It's moving in place really, really nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tack solution. I'm gonna bring this edge an eighth of an inch up off the edge of the hood. And go all the way across. Once I have that hood edge down, I'm gonna slowly start by pushing all the remaining moisture out over there, so. Okay, so now that I have the front leading edge of the hood done, I'm gonna start by squeegeeing everything out. First, I'm gonna put a lot of tack solution underneath the film as well. So I'm gonna work on this section right over here. So when you're squeegeeing, it's always very important to always have your squeegee angled towards the area that you haven't squeegeed. And you also always wanna overlap the area that you've squeegeed 50-50. So I've squeegeed up till here. Just make sure that I have and I have. Now I'm gonna start angling the squeegee and pushing everything out. Now that I'm here in the middle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly start pushing all this moisture over and out. Now that I'm done, I'm just gonna wipe off all the moisture off the hood. You guys can see that this hood is on, it's in place, and you can barely even see it, which is the whole point.